high cholesterol is often caused by eating fatty food or being overweight. It occurs when you have too much of a fatty substance called cholesterol in your blood. Fortunately, many people can lower their cholesterol by eating healthily, and making lifestyle changes. If you have been advised to make dietary changes, there are a number of things to consider. Changing what you eat, being more active, and stopping smoking can help get your cholesterol back to a healthy level. The NHS says, to reduce your cholesterol, try to cut down on fatty food, especially food that contains a type of fat called saturated fat. You can still have foods that contain a healthier type of fat called unsaturated fat. Indeed, the British Dietetic Association has outlined a few small changes to your diet which it says can make a big difference to your cholesterol level. Some people may choose certain alternatives to cook their foods, for example by shunning animal fats in favor of olive oil or coconut oil. Coconut oil has many nutrients that can contribute to your health and to a good diet, but it is not actually recommended by the NHS. NHS Inform says you should avoid foods containing saturated fats, as they will increase the levels of bad cholesterol. Foods that contain coconut or palm oil are actually some of the foods which you should cut down on or avoid. The NHS notes, however, it's not healthy to completely cut out all types of fat from your diet. It's important to replace saturated fats with unsaturated fats. The popular food that quadruples the risk of dying from cancer, warning hypertension diet, the vegetable you should eat every day, advice, indeed, the Mayo Clinic states, the entire body of evidence regarding dietary fats still supports the use of unsaturated oils, such as olive, canola, safflower or sunflower oil, instead of saturated fats or coconut oil for the management of cardiovascular risk factors. It adds, coconut oil also adds calories to your diet, about 120 calories per tablespoon of coconut oil, which is why it will likely not aid weight loss if it's not used with a calorie-controlled diet and physical activity. NHS Inform adds that a low-fat diet including lots of fiber, such as whole grain rice, bread and pasta, and plenty of fruit and vegetables has also been shown to help lower cholesterol. Fruit and vegetables are full of vitamins, minerals and fiber, and help keep your body in good condition. Aim to eat 580 grams portions of fruit and vegetables every day, it suggests. The American College of Cardiology Foundation says that it's not until there may be a large blockage of the artery that you might notice something is wrong. For example, you may have chest pain, pain in the arms or jaw, nausea, sweating, or shortness of breath. These usually occur when the blood supply to the heart or brain is being slowed or blocked, it adds. The organization says that the first sign of elevated cholesterol may be a heart attack or stroke. If you are over 40, you may have a cholesterol test during your NHS health check. This is a checkup that can help spot early signs of problems like heart disease and diabetes. Your GP might suggest having a test if they think your cholesterol level could be high, Heart UK adds. It says that you should aim to do at least 150 minutes of exercise a week, and smoking can raise your cholesterol and make you more likely to have serious problems like heart attacks, strokes and cancer. The British Heart Foundation BHF, says, if your cholesterol is very high and if lifestyle changes are not enough, your doctor might suggest controlling it with medication. Statins are the main type of medicine used to reduce cholesterol. 